Hey guys, I'm back again, and I want to show you a little trick. It's something you never want to do on your own computer. That's why I'm just showing you, and I'm loading a Linux machine because I couldn't get the XP disk to work. But it'll do essentially the same thing in Linux, except for the fact that the file will be named lib32 instead of system32. Now many of you will know where I'm going with this. You delete system32, the file in which I am in right now, this one. No program on the computer will work, the system will not boot, and I think it destroys your BIOS too. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that in Linux by deleting library or lib32. If it loads, you probably should have loaded this one first before I did anything to it. It is a Kali Linux machine because I just had that ISO laying around on my desktop, like literally. Desktop, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to full screen this. That's amazing. Let's do full screen, okay. I was taking a minute to load because I didn't give it very much RAM or storage. I mean, I'm going to ruin the machine anyway. So all you have to do is you have to do <clears throat> you have to go to the command line, do cd slash. That gets you to the entire base of the operating system. You can do ls del lib32. That what? That's how you do it in Windows, at least. I feel kind of stupid for not knowing my delete command. So... We're just going to try to find lib32 here, then. Ah, I should've just went here. Right click. Um... Move to trash. Now, if I write nothing should work, just go document viewer. I think we also need to do lib64, I believe, so we're going to go c slash ls. We also need to delete lib64. Let's go with the Arduino IDE. See? Now, you can't launch anything, and if I reboot the machine, it won't work. Restart. gonna stay like this for a while or just boot then crash. Oh, I can still type. Can't backspace. Wait a second. Just can't backspace harder than that. So this is what it looks like when you break Linux. Now when you break Windows, it won't boot, you won't get the shutdown screen, no programs will work, 
and it's essentially the same process. You just right click delete system 32. Nothing will work. Nothing will load. Just it will quite literally ruin the system. And if I remember correctly, the BIOS is under that directory. So what we're going to do is run an exit out of this machine, save the state. Then we're going to restart the machine and see if we can get it to boot. Spoiler alert, it won't. Or at least it better not. So we're going to go start. Well, no. It will reboot because we're running it live. I didn't install it into the VDI. I just ran it live off the, uh... Fla not flash drive, off the ISO. So, yeah, it's... If I restart it, it'll just go back into the bootloader and I can run it live or install it. Okay, let's see. USB is going to new full speed USB device number three. Etho nick link is down, USB device down, new USB device string. USB to tablet, manufacturer of virtual box, virtual box. Da, 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 da. It's official, I broke Linux. Now, oh, imagine if they made a program that did that. E. Yeah, I probably should put a warning at the beginning of this video saying that this could be used maliciously or something like that. Don't bother saving it. Delete all files. So I... That's what happens when you break Windows... No, Linux. I kept trying to get the XP Professional and the Windows 2000... No, 95 to work. But I couldn't get either of those to work. Any of those. So, uh... Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.